All right, what's up my friends? Dr. Ricky back with another video. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, listen, I hope you're enjoying the videos on my channel. I'm just getting it ramped up. We're just starting to get production going and thinking of some good ideas. So, hey, I uh, had a video on TikTok that went viral and I made a Q&A of that video. I went through some of the general questions and it. it's a gynecomastia video, which is male enlargement of the breast. If you didn't see that video, go check it out. Today, I wanna go through some other videos that I found continuing the theme to talk about gynecomastia. I'm gonna review some great videos that I saw and react to those that have to do with the topic and try to teach you a couple things about gynecomastia, so let's get to it. Dude, is it true that teenage boys can grow boobs? Yes, it's true. Boys going through puberty can develop small buds or breasts. It's called gynecomastia, and there's a lot of teenage boys that are self-conscious or embarrassed about it, so I'm gonna talk about it. First off, it looks like this, or this. Yeah, so she's absolutely right. So can men form breasts. So let's talk about what is gynecomastia and how does it happen. So gynecomastia is different from just being overweight. We're going to talk about that. Sometimes when patients are overweight, they have larger breasts and that's made out of fatty tissue. Gynecomastia is totally different tissue. It's glandular tissue, which is very different from your traditional fatty tissue in the breast. And so what happens is there's an imbalance between hormones in the body. The female hormone that's most prominent is estrogen and the male hormone that is most prominent is testosterone. So we can see this in newborn babies where the estrogen levels are really high in the placenta and they cross the placenta to the baby and they can have gynecomastia. And then we see it sometimes in older men where they have higher fat mass. What commonly happens with higher fat mass is that we have more estrogen. And so that can stimulate the gynecomastia tissue in your own breast. The other time that we see it is during puberty. As she mentioned, during puberty, sometimes with the hormone imbalance, some young boys can get stimulation of their breasts from having too much of the estrogen versus testosterone. And usually that does go away over the course of, just like she said, anywhere from six months to a couple of years. So that's what gynecomastia is. It's very different than regular breast tissue. And we're gonna get into how to treat that in just another minute. These breasts or buds can be caused by other diseases or medications, but it's commonly because there's a little bit too much estrogen in the body. Yeah, she's absolutely right. So what causes gynecomastia other than a testosterone to estrogen imbalance? There's a couple things. First of all, we're always looking at are there tumors in the testicles or other parts of the body that can be causing hormone imbalances due to production? So that's why we do a good physical examination. So that's one thing that can lead to gynecomastia. The other thing that can be steroids. We see a lot of men who use anabolic steroids who tend to form gynecomastia. There's also some medications that are associated and very specific with causing gynecomastia. And then we also see in men who use too much THC, that can also cause a hormone imbalance. And so stopping some of those medications might be all you need to cure your gynecomastia. Teenage boys can get this breasts or buds on both sides or one side, and it could feel like a little bit tender. And yeah, she's absolutely right once again. So you can totally get this on one or both sides and they can be completely asymmetric. We see a lot of times men that come into the office where one side is much larger than the other and it just happens. There's there's no reason why other than maybe you have more gynecomastia tissue on one side that gets stimulated. Now, how do we diagnose this? To be honest, it's really physical examination. So how would you know? Not every male has this, but we could do something called the pinch test, which is where you kind of pinch between your thumb and your and your index finger, the nipple areolar or complex. And when you pinch and you move the tissue a little bit between your fingers, you can feel really firm tissue behind the nipple and the areola, which is very different than the other fatty tissue in the breast. And the other thing is most men have tenderness in that tissue, but not everyone does. What I'm trying to show here in this video, this was a great video that I found on TikTok, is this gentleman, he has gynecomastia. If you notice, right behind the nipple, this guy is ripped, he's in great shape. This has nothing to do with being overweight. He's got little buds right behind the nipple and the areola, which can actually make the areola become larger. And as I said, could be tender, but in this guy, this is a great example of someone who's physically fit, but they just have something genetic that, that no weight loss or no amount of push-ups can cure. 
funny seeing this because I followed Chris for a while and I had no idea that I, I just never noticed the trend, which I guess happens to me too because I posted about a thousand things on Instagram and only one has ever been a shirtless photo and I was facing backwards because before November of last year I had something called gynecomastia um, which is literal man boobs and what that means is you can do push-ups until you roll over and die and you will never have a firm chest. So the reason I wanted to show you this video is that I wanted to bring up the topic that for many men, it's very embarrassing. They don't want to take off their shirts. They don't want to get in the swimming pool. Um, when they're at the gym, they definitely won't take off their shirts. And so this is a problem a lot of guys have and just know that there's a solution for it. And as he stated in that video, you could do push-ups till the cows come home and you can't get rid of this gynecomastia tissue. It really does become mainly in this day and age, a surgical problem. So in this guy, you can see he's got a little bit larger chest than a lot of the other guys. And so there is a classification system that we're going to show here that goes through the different levels of gynecomastia. And if we have to treat them surgically, it could be anywhere from vasor assisted liposuction, which is ultrasound liposuction to an actual breast reduction in men. The other thing about this video is that man boobs aren't gross. If you don't have the money to treat something like this, I get it, it's fine, you can live with it, you don't have to have surgery, but if it is something you wanna do, occasionally insurance will cover it, but usually when they hear the term gynecomastia, they deem it not medically necessary, and that's really what you need for insurance to approve something is for it to be medically necessary. We tried that for years to pass it through insurance, and we just got rejected every single time, so we don't try anymore. They've made it very clear that it's unfortunately a cash pay procedure. This gentleman, um, his wife is asking him the day before his surgery, what are the things that he's really most looking forward to. And so you can see once again in this video that this gentleman is, is, is basically demonstrating his insecurities. And so it's a big deal for men and I have to tell you, the satisfaction rate from this procedure when I do it is off the charts. Guys come back, you can see the confidence change in them. It's a little embarrassing to show, but this is how it looks before my surgery. But this is like, I took this picture back in like January when I had my first initial consultation. And this okay. is like this morning so right this now. this is like how it looks. Um, yeah. After this very nice i love it seeing some before and afters i'm telling you TikTok is such a great place for this so this will give me a chance let's talk about surgery a little bit so here we go i talked about surgical options and we'll talk about some non-surgical options there aren't many but the surgical options as i said range anywhere from simple liposuction which usually also requires as you can see in this gentleman a small incision around the areola like a half moon incision to remove the tissue so first what we do is we put a wetting solution into the tissue salt water with some pain medications and epinephrine, which helps to control bleeding. We liposuction not only the gynecomastia tissue, but the fatty tissue in the breast, if there is any. And the other thing is the gynecomastia tissue is super thick. It's very hard to liposuction, and that is why I use the Vaser Ultrasound, which really carves and cuts through that tissue and essentially emulsifies it and liquefies it. But then what's left behind is a small amount of thick, fibrous tissue even though the fat's been removed right behind the nipple and that has to be removed so that's where generally we make a small half moon incision like you saw in this gentleman where um, we take out that tissue through that small scar and it heals up really well the recovery from this usually a good four to six weeks of some compression on the chest but by six weeks you're not done. Things are pretty thick and scarred at that time because that's the maximum point of collagen production. And then once that collagen's been laid down to heal the wound and everything is solid, for the next year, you'll go through what's called remodeling where that collagen reorganizes and things soften up. But you can get back to doing whatever you wanna do by six weeks and you can get back to work within one to two weeks. All right, so my bad guys, I haven't showed like a before and after. I'm not really good with TikTok. Uh, but yeah, here we go. This is the before. This is the front view. Inside view. You can see it's titties. Now here's the big change, as you can see. And yup, no more breasts. So five months out now, and I'm feeling amazing. So 
Yeah. Amazing. So I chose this video because he was five months out and I wanted you to see what those scars look like. But again, beautiful result. You can tell a huge difference for him where he doesn't have those bulges right behind the nipple and the areola, which are see-through in a shirt. We're going to take a look quick at the frontal view of his after where you can see the little scars around the lower part of his areola at the border between the, the white skin and the pigmented skin. And you can see how well those scars heal. They heal really, really well. Great result. They get it to Caldwell Pope, almost lost it. Shot clock at seven. James, two defenders on him. To Caldwell Pope inside, he's tied up by Green. Throws it back up top. James puts up the three. Oh, it's good. LeBron James from downtown. Yeah, buddy, I love it. So, again, the reason I picked this video, not only great before after for this guy, but listen, you can see the confidence that returns to these men when they have these procedures. And the guy basically after his surgery got ripped because he felt amazing in his body. So again, life-changing procedure for the people who have this problem and just know it's totally fixable. All right, my friends, that wraps up that video. Thank you for watching. Hey, I hope you learned something today about male enlargement of the breasts. Plastic surgery is not all about the females always, so there's some good information in there. And I'm always amazed at the content that's on TikTok and what I get from there. I learn too, and I love hearing other people educating. Remember, you can always subscribe, like, and comment on my videos if you like them. Let us know via email if there is another video that you want to hear or a topic you want me to cover. I would be more than happy to cover it. I love covering things all medical. I'm trauma critical care trained, so I have that background. I can talk general surgery. I can talk plastic surgery. So whatever you want, I got it for you. And again, I mentioned in the beginning of the video a Q&A that I made from my viral video. So if you click right here, you can see that video if you want to see some of the responses that I had to some of the questions. Appreciate you guys joining me. For now, Dr. Ricky, out.